Roche Clinical Pharmacology explains entry into human or first in man studies. A drug candidate undergoes a multitude of studies to identify and support its safe and effective use. Only once a clear understanding of the drug is attained through non-clinical experiments is it appropriate to study the drug's potential in human subjects. The subsequent plan for initial evaluation forms the basis of a so-called entry into human study. This is Annie, the clinical pharmacology representative. She's accountable for the planning, design and execution of the entry into human study. Its objective is to understand the safety of the drug, how the drug affects the body or pharmacodynamics PD, and how the body affects the drug or pharmacokinetics PK. Entry into human studies are performed at specialist centers and conducted in healthy subjects. In some cases, however, they're conducted in patients suffering from the disease. Annie, supported by experts from other scientific areas, carefully chooses a starting dose which is deemed low enough not to pose any risk to subjects. This is often done with computer models using the non-clinical data to predict the new drug's behavior in the human body. The study is usually a single ascending dose design. All the details of the study are recorded in the protocol, which is approved by national health authorities and independent research ethics committees. Within the single ascending dose study, several doses are tested, starting with the lowest and moving stepwise up to the highest. The aim is to escalate the dose as high as the protocol allows, while remaining safe and tolerable to the subjects. This is based on non-clinical safety limits and also any signals emerging in subjects on the study. Annie might want to employ novel study designs to better characterize key properties of the drug, perhaps to efficiently identify a maximum tolerated dose, MTD, using an adaptive design. Subjects may receive the drug only once, or Annie might use designs where subjects are dosed on more than one occasion, which helps to show the drug candidate's variability in blood or tissue concentrations and effects from dose to dose. Once the entry into human study is designed, a study team will be assigned to execute the study protocol. Annie will monitor the active phase of the project closely in collaboration with the principal investigator, who will observe the subjects very carefully. Annie will characterize the safety and tolerability, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of the drug. Annie analyzes the data at each dose level and, along with the study team and the principal investigator, decides on the next dose. To start with, this may be an escalation of two or three times or even greater, but is usually less as the dose increases. Annie understands that the safety of the subjects is paramount. So she's glad that entry into human studies are there to gain an initial understanding and characterization of drug candidates' key properties in humans for the first time before embarking into studies with longer periods of dosing or in many more patients.